Thank you for beginning uh, our video process. This first video that we're going to deal with in our rhetorical quest series is going to be dealing with anxiety. To a large extent, public speaking has to do with dealing with anxiety. Being scared is part of public speaking. And so I'm going to talk to you today about how we can start to deal with anxieties. The first three videos are going to deal with that. The first one is going to be all about understanding the different types of fear. There's really two types of fear, and we're going to talk about both of them. Uh, we're going to talk in our next video about how we're going to manage that fear. And then finally, we'll talk about in our third video what we can do about fear. So these first three videos are all going to have to do with fear. And this is important. Uh, for a lot of people, when they were asked to list their fears, 90% of people actually ranked public speaking above death as their list of fears. So I'm like... All right, buddy, here's the situation. You can give a speech or I die and be like just, oh, well, pull the trigger. But public speaking doesn't need to be that scary. The reason people get scared when they engage in public speaking is they're worried that they're going to feel a debilitating nervousness. Now, there are two types of fears, debilitating nervousness and empowering fear. Now, everybody's experienced debilitating nervousness at some time in their life. Any time when you've made a bad decision because you were scared, and you may have been thinking, but your th thoughts weren't going in the right direction, that's when you've experienced debilitating nervousness. You may be experienced debilitating nervousness, debilitating nervousness when you were completely unable to move in a particular situation. You knew what you had to do. You knew what was needed to happen, but you didn't do it. Why didn't you do it? You just couldn't do anything. You were scared. And I've seen that stuff happen. So there's two kinds of fears, debilitating nervousness and our uh, empowering nervousness or our empowering fear. Okay. Everyone has experienced, really, both of these. Now, anxiety isn't such a bad thing. Anxiety is normal. Anxiety keeps us moving. It gives us nervous energy. Why am I making this video right now? It's because I'm scared if I don't make this video and make it right for my students, they're not going to be able to get the ideas that they need from class. And sometimes our nervous energy makes us work harder. And sometimes I've seen students giving speeches, and oh my goodness, they're so nervous that you know what they do? They practice. Yeah, they practice. Why do they practice? Because they're scared of what might happen if they didn't. Nervous and energy is not bad, and it does not need to be deleted. It needs to be managed.